not 31. We had a question on number 41, and it said, if we assume the linear trend existed before 1950 and continues after 2000, the two states' median house values will be or were equal in what year? And it even gives you a hint that the house, the, the answer might be absurd. So let, let's unpack this. We've got Mississippi started in 1950 house prices or the median house price, which means the middle house price, um, was 25200 And then for Hawaii, it was 74000 So even back in, in 1950, it looks like house prices were higher for Hawaii than Mississippi. And that continued in 2000. You can see Hawaii increased um, by a good chunk to two, almost 273000 And Mississippi, it, it also increased by a lot because you got to remember it was starting from 25000 so it nearly tripled, and Hawaii almost tripled as well. So they were doing um, a lot of growth, at least price-wise, over those um, five decades. Now, if I want to find the linear trends, what I have here are two ordered pairs, and I can figure out the linear model that goes between them. So for Mississippi, we had the ordered pairs of 1950, 25,200 and then 2,071,400. ,000, so if I wanna find the line between those two points, the first thing I need to do is find the slope. So that's what you see me doing here. We've got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I subtract, I find the ratio of the difference in the housing prices in ratio to the year. And when I do that, I've got 924. And another way of thinking that of that number, it's really $924 per year. So you can think that when you were in Mississippi, or if you were a house in Mississippi, your house increased on average by about $924 per year, or you should say the house value. And then because I have that slope, I can go ahead and use point slope form, and I can do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And you can use either of these two ordered pairs to plug into the point slope formula. I only opted to pick this one because the numbers were slightly lower. But when you get done with that, there is your linear model for Mississippi, right? So I think we can model house prices oops, with that, that linear equation. And then I repeated that process for Hawaii, right? So if we take a look at what was happening in Hawaii, I've got my two ordered pairs, right? Because I've got year against house value or median house value. I work through this, I find my slope. Now again, if I wanted to interpret this a little bit more, this is telling you that on average, house prices in Hawaii were increasing by about $3,966 per year. All right. Uh, and then I go ahead and I do the same thing with point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And again, I opted to choose that ordered pair only because the numbers were smaller. So when we get to the end of this, we see that for Hawaii, this was my linear model. Okay, great. Now, those are the two linear models, and the question in front of us is, when were these equal to each other? Oops, it looks like I might have erased my linear model here. Not erased it, but erased my little highlighter. All right, so here's Mississippi. Okay, so then what I got to figure out is, when were these two equal? Because the question given to us was, um, the two states' median house values will be or possibly were equal in what year? And keep in mind, my x values are my years. So I go ahead and I just set these two house values or these two linear models for these house values equal to each other. So here's Mississippi on the left, here's Hawaii on the right. Do a little algebraic manipulation and then I find this x value of 1933.83, which is approximately the year 1934. So home values in Mississippi and Hawaii were approximately equal way back in 1934. All right, I hope that helps, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.